Hey everyone, Garrett here from Creative King Nine, YouTube.com slash Creative King Nine. And in this video, we're gonna be starting our web design uh, series. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be learning HTML here. And uh, I want to start off by saying the first thing you're gonna need to do is by the way, I am using Coda as I said in the last video, I will be using Coda. So uh, if you have that, great. If not, great, let's get started. So um, the first thing you want to do is if you have not already, uh, go to your Finder or your Explorer or wherever you are and go wherever you want your website to be saved. Uh, make a new file called whatever you make a new folder, sorry. Make a new folder called whatever you want the website to be called. I already have hosting and I actually have my own domain name. So I'm just going to be doing it on my server and you guys will be able to see it at garrettlove.com slash creativeking9. So uh, basically um the first the starting file that you're going to use is called index so go ahead and make a new file and call it index.html now um the way that websites are by default set up is that when you go to a website you don't have to put slash anything but it automatically loads the index page so for example here on mac rumors if we go to macrumors.com slash index.html it will load the same thing because uh, it was you were already looking at the index page however um, I tried making this video before and it didn't work because YouTube does it a little bit differently I think YouTube Facebook Google do it a little bit differently is that YouTube if you try and go to youtube.com slash index.html it won't work um, they do their things a little bit differently they might be by default loading a different page um, you can set that up with, of course, using code with other protocols and whatnot. We're gonna get, not going to get into that now, though, but we will get into that eventually. So the first things first, uh, we're going to load that. All right, see, so, oh, damn it. So what happened was, before I had this file here, uh, it was going to some directory page showing you everything that was in it, and there was nothing in it. But once I made this, it automatically took us straight to the index file page. So, first thing we're going to learn how to do is how to set up a basic HTML document. Now, we're going to skip the doc type. So, if you're watching this video and you already know a little bit of HTML uh, and I, you don't see me with putting in the doc type, don't worry. Um, I don't, I'm not skipping it by accident. I'm skipping it on purpose because I'm going to have another video specifically for the doc type because there are different doc types that you can use and I want to have a video going into more detail on that. So, first things first. We're gonna need how to learn, we're gonna need to learn what an HTML tag is. So HTML syntax uses different tags. Um, an HTML tag consists of these the greater than and less than symbols. So the arrow that points left because I still haven't figured out which one is which or I can't really remember that. But the arrow that goes left and then to open it, and then the arrow that goes right to close it. And basically everything within these two tags right here so all this will be HTML but all this will not be HTML now of course you don't have to do that like the browser um, Safari Internet Explorer Opera Chrome whatever you're using will probably still realize that it is HTML but it is proper practice it's like a web standard um, to put everything you're doing within those two tags so basically what what is the difference the difference is that this starts it right so this tells the browser that everything after this is going to be HTML. That would be this. But then this right here, since it has a slash right there, that tells the browser that everything is going to be HTML up until that point. So therefore, everything after here and up until here is HTML. But everything here is not. And likewise, everything up here is not. So that's an HTML tag. Now you don't have to put the slashes. You don't have to end everything. And we'll get into later videos of um, attributes within tags. And we'll get into what that is later. But you don't have to end everything. It just depends on the tag. But most things you will. So let's set up a basic page. So that tells the browser that everything within there is going to be part of our HTML page. This next part, the head section, is where you will put the title. So the title is, let's see, creative king nine we'll save that excuse me we'll save that we'll reload this and the title is 
the title of the page. So whatever comes up up here at the top of your web browser is the title of the page. Also in the head section, you can put meta information and links to go and look to other CSS files, JavaScript files, um, things like that, PHP files. I, I don't know about, I don't think you would use PHP files really all that much, but JavaScript files especially, and um, CSS files probably the most. So that's, and also meta information, which we'll get into that later. So that's what goes up in the head section. And now for the last section, but probably one of the most important, or the most important, the body. Everything that you see on an HTML page goes in the body. So everything down here will not be as part of the HTML page. Everything up here is not part of the HTML page. But everything in here is part of the HTML page. So that is a basic page setup in HTML. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Please subscribe, by the way, if you are enjoying these videos. And next video, we're probably going to be going into some basic text editing in HTML. So thanks for watching. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.